Alright, so here I'm just going to go over the basic layout of Flash. So this is Adobe Flash CS5. CS4 is pretty much the same, and I'm not that sure about 3, 2, or 1, but they're all pretty much the same. So up here we got File, Edit, View, Insert, all this stuff, which is in pretty much any program, so I really don't think I have to go over this. But Insert, to insert new symbol and scene. Uh, new symbols are important. Scenes are really not that important, but depending on what you're doing. And then over here, Debug, to Debug Movie or control to test a movie and then you test it window to show certain stuff um, oh yeah to export a movie export image or export movie or so you could import stuff is over here but yeah that pretty much everyone knows over here where it says essentials these are different layouts of what you could have for the uh, flash program like I could have animator which looks like that classic Debug, Designer, Developer. Although I like Essentials the best, and there's Small Screen. Once again, Essentials are the best. And say I were to like mess around with stuff like pull that off and like put it over here, or like pull the timeline off and then say I don't like that you just click reset essentials and it brings it back to that so that's that and then over here where it says we got properties and library library is mainly for symbols and then we have properties which going down the list over here everyone should know what these do and everything just like any other adobe program but say I were to like click on this here are the properties for this now <clears throat> the color of the outline so I can make it black then the fill color, what color will be on the inside. So I'll just make that green. Stroke is for the size of the outline. So if I put it at like 1, that's what it looks like. If I put it at like 7, that's what it looks like. <clears throat> uh, over here, solid or dash, that's to have like a dashed line. This is to change how much of a curve you want on the edges. So I could have a curved edge. Or I could go reverse, so it looks like that. And then library. Library is used for symbols. To make a symbol, let me just do, say I were to make a symbol. hold that down go to oval tool you go like that say you want a perfect circle just click shift it'll make it a perfect circle say I were to go like that and say like I didn't want a dashed line I just highlight it and then go to that alright so to make a symbol you gotta highlight all of it like if I only highlight half of it it won't work I gotta make sure I highlight all of it it will work, but it won't work to what you want it to be. Click Convert Symbol right here. Then you can make it a movie clip, a button, or a graphic. You can name the symbol. Ball. Registration, that's for making a video game or making buttons. So if I click OK, there it is. And now, say over here, I'm on frame 1 over here. Now if I insert new frames by clicking F7 which inserts a blank blank frame or F6 which inserts a new frame frames on the timeline so for example that would be one way to make the animation I'd hit F7 I'd go down here onion skin click on that just to see where the ball is then I hit F7 again F7 again and I keep on doing that moving the ball to where I want it to go and it's in the library ball and then say I want it to bounce out of the screen and then say I want like a different ball like a green ball in it once again you just highlight that convert symbol 
ball two click OK and then I'll have this one drop in so I'll go to library then I'll just drag it in hitting F7 every single time to make a new frame see symbols are so I don't need to like keep on making a new like drawing out a new ball and then it won't be the same size and it'll look unproportional so there's that and down here on the timeline FPS for frames per second so I were to make it like eight frames per second if I go over here control test movie test there's eight frames per second but say I were to make it like 30 frames per second this is what it'll look like I like around it starts off at 24 frames per second which looks like this but I like I like it around 10 or 12 frames per second which to me looks pretty good so that's that and one more thing is actions which would be to make a video game or a button to make some kind of link or something actions you have this here it has to be a symbol you right click on it and then actions are right here opens this up but you need to be in an action script too for if you were to make any of those there's really no big difference between action script 3 and 2 but 2 is where you make actions to make a video game or to make a button to click on a different thing to go to a different link or like insert new scene this is like a new scene you got scene 1 here's scene 2 but yeah that's for a new scene and that's pretty much the basics of what you need to know for flash and if there are any questions just leave a comment